So remove the nut in the washer. Okay. Turn it until this arrow right here is in line with this mark. Okay. And then just pry underneath here with the screwdriver. Pop this out. Now remove these three bolts to take the motor off the transmission. Okay. Take the old motor out. Okay. Make sure it's identical. You see that we don't have this cap, rubber cap on here. I'm going to put that on. Okay. And I'm going to start putting the motor back in. So same thing. Put the motor underneath here. Put these three bolts in. Tighten them on the linkage. Remember the marks that you had before, that arrow right there, matching with these. Okay, make sure you match them. And then turn, once the splines are locked in, then you can turn to get access to put the nut on. Once we have the nut on, and remember that you, when you put this on, it had to be lined up. Uh, our transmission with a new motor is ready to go on. Okay, uh, this is what holds the motor in. So once you take all the bolts off, you will actually have to just hold this here and pull out to get this tab released from the body of the car. Put the wiper transmission back in. Don't forget to plug the wiper motor in. And remember, they need to be pushed back in. Okay, it needs to be pushed back in. That, I don't know if you can see this or not. You see that hole right there? That is where that tab goes. That's behind the motor. Okay, make sure you tighten up all the bolts. There's one, two, there's one in the center, three, we got four, five, and there's the one underneath there, six. Okay, once everything is on, you can put the bottom cowl on and bolt the bottom cowl in. Okay, once you have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine bolts for the bottom column. Uh, you have them all on. It'd be a good time to make sure that the motor is working the way it should. So that's intermittent. And now that's the next speed. And we're going to turn it off. Good. So it's working. It's all good. We're going to put the top column, the plastic column on now. Once your plastic column is up, make sure you just gently tap it. Make sure all the tabs go in, no gaps up here. And push these plastic pieces in. Wiper on. Okay. Just make sure you remember where you got them off. So I already have a mark here from my old wiper, so I'm going by that. That's where my wiper was sitting, right there. Okay. Put the nut on and tighten it up. There we go. We got our wiper motor in. These are on. This is on intermittent. They're working fine. So that's intermittent. This is low. This is high, and when I turn it off, they stop where they should stop. Um, I've just forgotten to mention one thing. Uh, I haven't shown uh, how to put the, the spray hose, the windshield washer hose. I haven't shown that. Please remember to put that back in. In case you forget and you have everything wrapped up, what you can do is there is access hole right here. There is access hole right here. You can take that off, okay, take this access hole, and you can reach to that hose if you, in case you have forgotten to put it back in. Okay, thank you very much. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel.